What's up guys? Uh, I am back and this afternoon I'm going to play a game for you guys. Uh, it's actually going to be a TurboGrafx-16 CD game, uh, which I'll be emulating off my Wii here and I'll be uh, using this Wii Engine app right here uh, to play it. <clears throat> so I'm going to jump right into this guys. I'm not going to waste any time whatsoever. I actually did a, a, a tutorial guys uh, not too long ago on how to convert these games for this particular emulator uh, and how, how to get them to work in this emulator. Okay. So here are all my games. Uh, these three at the top here, these are folders. These are actually got all my regular TurboGrafx-16 games in there and these are my shmups or shoot em up games and all my pinball games there but everything below that is my TurboGrafx-16 CD games and the game that I've got picked out guys is um, it's called Psychic Storm right here and it's a uh, it's a shmup it's a space shooter uh, really cool it's your basic shooter game um, it's a little different from the ones that I've played before, but uh, the game I'll be using, uh, game, uh, the controller I'll be using, guys, is this thing right here. This is a GameCube controller. Actually, a GameStop GameCube controller. It works pretty good. Uh, I do have a wireless one, but it doesn't have the turbo function on it. Well, it's this, and it, and it actually has like a half, half a second lag to it, too, so I don't like it. But this is, this works really well. I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna scroll down to the top file, hit the A button, and boot her on up. Alright. I'll let the storyline play out for you guys. I haven't actually seen it myself uh, yet, so uh, it'll be the first time for me, too. No idea what they're saying. No idea. Alright guys, so that thing in the background there, that's the first stage boss right there. That's what we're heading to to uh, destroy. So. I believe that was the first stage boss anyway. This new Hong Kong City, this is stage one. And uh, it has a number of uh, different pilots uh, you can choose from this one here. Um, this one, which is ridiculous, I don't even understand the firepower on this one. It's like a rainbow, like a laser rainbow deal going on. I don't know. Uh, but anyway. Uh, got this one, uh, we got this one here, looks kind of like a laser, but it's like a fiery, uh, it's called hell flame, I guess, it's, I don't know, whatever. And you have this one, which is the, uh, I can't pronounce that, it's something laser down there, but I was never a fan of a laser, so I'm not, I'm not getting it. This is really, um, more natural to me, so I've always picked the regular gun, the spray gun, or whatever like that. That's just me though. But yeah, um, you can see it's a regular space shooter. Um, what I do like about this game, guys, is that it has a, uh, um, a you have a health bar. Uh, and you, 
can actually uh, get uh, health capsules from enemies. Uh, their enemies, some enemies uh, glow, have a glow to them, and that's the one that will give you like uh, an upgrade, a weapon upgrade, or a health capsule. See that right there? But usually, yeah, usually other games you'll, you'll have a... Uh, See, those that have health caps are right there, guys. It's like a red and blue. Yeah, but some games you, you get a, a weapon upgrade and you get hit, you lose the uh, your weapon. Uh, but this game you don't. Uh, you actually uh, just lose uh, some of your health. That's all. Which is pretty cool. But the only downfall on that, guys, is um, once your health runs out, you die. That's it. You only get one man or one ship, whatever you want to call it. So that that kind of sucks in a way. be halfway through this stage because I mean, every stage does that and it change up that means I guess you're halfway through it. Well that's a big health gap so there. I okay, don't need it but I'll take it. Ooh, wow. I think I've gotten to like the third third level in this. I haven't played it while but really fun game. change into this thing right here manually if you want uh, or if your, if your health level gets down too low then uh, you'll automatically change into it. Yeah. 
do that. <laughs> All right, stage two, satellite Europa. Cool. Select pilots. I'm gonna go on with this one again. All right. I'll tell you this right here. This this part. Uh, I can't remember what game it was. I think it was. Radius that had the, the rocks that you uh, split apart like that. I can't remember exactly. Uh, I don't think it was Life Force. Yeah, I think it was Radius. I knew that was coming up. Okay, we're halfway through the stage right now. Yeah, that's a good thing. This end boss actually has a uh, little trick to it. Ugh. A little strategy that I use to get past him. Watch these guys here, they're like Galaga, man. They'll pull you with their little beams and stuff. That's crazy. So. Hmm. If I can get in that, if I can get in that little sweet spot, I'd be okay. 
I believe this is it. Yeah, I think this is it, guys. Pretty easy, huh? I just accidentally figured this one out. <laughs> just one day. I was like, cool, man, that'll work. I just sit right here, man, and just. He's a tough one, boy. It takes a lot of hits for him. Double jaws have been shot down. Get that right. Stage three. Now this this right here, guys, you can actually uh, go to a different like planet or whatever for stage three. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna, okay, you got what is this trident? Uh, you have you Ulanus. Something like that. I don't know. And you have Blaze. I don't know, whatever. But I'm gonna go to. Oh man, dude. Let's let's go to. Oh man. I'm gonna go to this one. Oh boy. Select pilots. Always this one. Always.
come on, man. Ugh. Are you kidding me? How are you supposed to dodge all that junk, man? You got to be stinking kidding me, man. You can't dodge all that. boss guys I'm trying to think if I ever made it to this boss Thinking over, man. Oh, how long have I been playing? 22 minutes? Okay, well. Oh, I'm not going to continue, you guys. I've been playing for 20 minutes, so that, that's, that's a long enough video. Um, dang. I just really wanted to just show you that game, guys. Uh, it's called Psychic Storm. Uh, if you if you liked it, man, check it out. And uh, check my, uh, my tutorial out on how to actually... Uh, get it play on this particular emulator. If not, you can use the uh, Magnifin um, uh, emulator, which will emulate the uh, BNQ file and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool game. It's a pretty basic shoot 'em up game. It's really fun, uh, really challenging. So, uh. all right, guys. So that's it. I'm gonna leave y'all at this and. Uh, I'll be back in, uh, later. I'll be I'll be doing another game, and uh, I haven't decided which one yet. But uh, like I said in my last uh, video, I am here by myself, and uh, my wife they're uh, they're in Canada right now, so I get the house to myself, and I can do whatever the heck I want to do. So yeah. So stay tuned, guys, and I will see y'all guys in a little while. Okay, stay cool.